Hey guys, so I finished the board, wrote it uh, up my 30% grade hills. It was decent. It was like maybe speed of my uh, boosted mini S, which is like really slow. Um, so I forgot the fact that I stopped using these motors because it couldn't go up these hills. And I mean, they could go up with smaller wheels, but once you put rubber and once you go uh, like 100 millimeters or higher, and then you're going to have to really gear it right. And I think the gearing is, what, like two to one or something like that. And it's just not enough uh, for these motors. I have plenty of battery power, but uh, I'm bottlenecked by the motors, basically. Because these things simply can't take enough torque um, with the setup, particular setup I have. If I use your thing like 90 millimeter, 85, it'll just do fine, right? But I've reached like a point where it just sort of on maximum uh, torque for these six uh, five oh six five. So also another no. Oh, but but the thing, the good thing with this board is uh, when I was going over the sidewalk bumps, uh, you know the blind, you know the little dot dot spots, and oh, it feels so good. So I feel like this is a cur this is a really good size um, uh, board. All right, it's 36 inches and it's really wide. So it's sort of, there's a lot of wood to absorb stuff. And also the wheels, 100 millimeter. I think it's plenty, but I'll try the 125. Then it's, it'll be even more comfortable. Um, but you're going to be able to go over, you know, all those bumps, uh, potholes, no problem. Uh, without going to uh, pneumatic air tires. Because I don't really want to go pneumatic air tires. And it, it makes your board look super huge and... You know, in certain places of the world, if you ride that, then people are like, oh my god, you can't ride this here. But if you have like a small board, then people don't really mind it. So this is sort of a medium board. Um, also, I feel like these trucks are just not made for this board. It's slightly wide. It's actually made for, I think, air tires. So I'm going to scrap these, take them out. I have uh, Haggy board uh, trucks, which are really nice. Um, um, it's a little bit shorter. And then... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put 6354 motors. So the the good thing with these, it's slightly heavier. It's like 1.2 pounds versus 1 pound. Uh, but they're really short, so you can put it on really short trucks. All right, just like that. So, But they have way more power than 6054 uh, motors. 5065 five, oh, motors. And another, another thing is the 5065 oh, oh, motors that I got... We're not really designed for 12S anyways. They're not even rated for that. So that's another problem. These are rated for 12S. Um, so I think I think that's the way, right way to go. So still prototyping. I'm going to go ahead and put these on uh, and see how it does. Um, because, you know, it, it does fine. I mean, this board does fine uh, on flat ground. It's super fast and everything. But... You know, I, I want if I want if I build a board, I want something that will you can ride anywhere, regardless how hilly it is. Especially because I live on hills, I want something that people can rely on, um, something with a lot of power. So, yeah, I'll have the transformation video. I'll video tape some of it. Um, but for right now, I'm just not satisfied. And all those, all, also these DIY e motor mounts suck ass. They just came off after going uphill like once or twice. <clears throat> that's that's why I've scrapped them and I don't know why I use them again. I totally forgot. That's why I never use these. These were the spare parts that I had. But I have some better spare parts that I can put on. I didn't want to use it, obviously, because of added weight. But it ended up pretty pretty good. I mean, pretty portable. Still, still very portable. Um, you can still carry it. It's still about like 20 pounds. But it's not it's not bad 20 pounds. It's very good 20 pounds. And I think... Um, once I make those changes, it's going to be a perfect, like, portable commuter slash, um, uh, portable board. Uh, but, but it feels really comfortable, uh, with the combination of the super wide, tr uh, deck at 36 inches, which is shorter, but you have so much room for your feet. Uh, I think it makes it very versatile. I really like this, um, this deck. And I really like the wheels, the rubber wheels. It just absorbs everything. And um, I think for commuting for 
you know, three more than two miles, you can go five, ten miles easy. Um, I also want to test out the range, so I'll have an update but for right now. Uh, the board is still under construction, and this is why, you know, sometimes you have to try out everything. And that's why I just built this, so I can try out the different combination. But obviously, this is just not satisfactory. I mean, it might be satisfactory where you live, uh, if it's flat, but for where I live and for the board I want, I want something that people can ride anywhere in the world, regardless of how hilly it is. Um, I don't know. So let me go ahead and fix that up and choose the results later.